Good evening, this is Teresa from uh, Three Piece Afterlife, Paranormal, Paul and the Phenomena. Um, I would like to introduce you to two of my friends tonight, my fans, Pete and Paul, which are here lurking in the background somewhere. There Hello, they are. Everyone. Hello. And we are at St Peter's and St Paul's Church in Tunbridge High Street. Thank you. Okay, guys, Paul here. Um, there's Teresa. Hello. Excellent introduction, Teresa. Sort of. <laughs> <laughs> there's Peter, and I'm behind the camera. Uh, today we are at where are we? St Teresa? Peter's and St Paul's Church in Tunbridge. Yeah, look at that, guys. Amazing, isn't it? This is a uh, one of how many locations we're doing tonight? Three? I think we're Three. doing two in Tunbridge and one at Pembury again. Okay. Yeah. Oh, the Pembury one being the, yeah, the, the active one. one. Yeah, yeah. We're yeah. gonna we're gonna do that one, guys, when it gets dark. So that's the one where the bomb went off, isn't it? it the is, storm. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So the camera's a bit closer to me tonight, guys, because I'm using my stand instead of my selfie stick. Do you know any history on this one, Teresa? Not a lot. I think it's about built about eighteen something. Um, it's 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 the main church for Tunbridge, where most of the weddings and everything um, happen. Yeah. Um, I don't know if they do still use it for burying people, but they do use it for services on Sunday. That's all I really know. About this one. It's, um... Do you know, I had a thought about burial, and imagine in a hundred years' time, they'll probably have something you just stand in a tube and it annihilates you. Well, they, <laughs> they've sort of shown that on sort of like these sci fi things, haven't they? Yeah. So, yeah, probably. <laughs> look, at that, look at that bench, look. There's one over there as well. I might take that home for my garden. Yeah, a bit uncomfortable though. <laughs> I don't think I should have had that fillet of fish because. Uh, Is it repeating? Yeah. Like the tea I made, yeah, that repeated. It's Peter's fault. Yeah. Every time, every time we come out, he wants Mackey D's. <laughs> <laughs> I declined. Yeah, yeah. I was good. Yeah. You have to give it to him, otherwise he has a tantrum. Does he? Lays <laughs> <laughs> no, on the floor, do you? <laughs> I think we're gonna have to walk back because I don't think we can get around. Oh, okay. Oh, look at that big one at the back there. Yeah. Been there a long time because it's sort of grown around, isn't it? Look at how small that is. Look. Yeah. Can you make? Do you think but the body? They were much tinier then. Yeah. Do you think they? the body is actually in there or is it below? I don't know. It's something we're going to have to look up, isn't it? Because yeah. you do see them quite a bit in here. So that's like mummified, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, like Egyptian, isn't it? Yeah. This one's all cracked. Mm, don't tread on it now. Yeah. I'll end up joining them. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what this is. Remembering loved ones. Well, someone left a fruit shoot for him. Kind of them. Yeah. I think we'll take that and put it in a bin somewhere, do you reckon? Yeah, I think so. It's not very nice, is it? No. Give it, yeah, I'll give it a bit in a minute. Thank you. Thanks. Do you think that's going this way or do you think it's going. I would say that, that way. way. Yeah, so. I'm probably wrong, but. Yeah. Well, they'll soon cuss me on my videos, you know, yeah. you've heard that. <laughs> There's a couple down here as well. A really old one.
Hi Souls, my name is Paul. I'm here tonight with Teresa and Peter. Don't know if you've heard of me or us. But we come in peace and we seek communication with you. If you have anything to say, any messages to get out, you can talk into this device that I'm recording with. It will pick up your voices. Yeah, it's quite, I mean, you've got a big one here as well. Because yeah. that's where we're going to go, but you can't get through there. You have to go back round, I think. This is massive, isn't it? Do you think yeah. that's a family one? I would have thought so. It's too big for one person, isn't it? Yeah, do you think they put coffins on top of coffins, do you reckon, oh, stack? Right. Yeah, I suppose so. Did you hear that behind me, then? Yeah, something... Moved? Yes. We both looked at the same time. Yeah. You might pick something up. Yeah. Definitely pick something up there. Something moved. <laughs> <laughs> something moved behind us. Mm. Look at this one, look. Yeah. Pete's gone to have a look. <laughs> Very old, didn't it? Yeah, very old. You can feel the age. Yeah, yeah. But I've seen one or two of those ones with the funny, like, mummified thing on top, but I don't know if that's what they just have put on top. Or... Yeah. They always remind me of things like Dracula. Yeah. Yeah. Right, you've got another one over there, look. It's yeah. There. They did have a little bit of trouble here at one point with um, people misbehaving you know with the occult and that oh really but they stopped it i think the priest kept an eye and it stopped but they look like uh could be two graves there because they got two foot foot, two foot things yeah. there haven't they Got a really old one over there with yeah. like a, a round thing on the top. Is that a Celtic cross on there? Looks like it, doesn't it? Yeah. I think someone must have planted a little tree in yeah. one of these graves. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> they say don't plant trees on graves. Don't yeah. They? And it's not just affecting that one grave; it's affecting all the rest. Yeah. It's like at that church you went to in Pembury. In the, the old church, there, there was a lot of that, wasn't there? Yeah. Go back in there. Oh, look at this one, Pete. Look at that one. Was it you or Dave said that that was quite often the vicars of the church that yeah. were near the door? Yeah, often the very first vicars. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, this one's got a big crack down the side of it. Really? I suppose it's a little bit of movement as well. Yeah, earth. Earth movement. Mm. Look at that, guys. Beautiful, isn't it? I don't know how much damage was done in that storm in 87. Oh, I remember there that. There was some damage yeah. done down here. I remember that. Yeah, because I only lived less than what, five minutes walk away. Then, when we had that in '87, I lived in Woolwich at the time, right by the Thames. So you had still got quite a little bit of damage up there, though, didn't you? Yeah, I was climbing over trees to get to work. Really? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's the same difficulty. <laughs> we didn't have no water or anything. For, well, we didn't have no electricity. My next door, days. my next door neighbour had a tree in their living room. Great. <laughs> yeah, quite a bit of that went on round here. They're so weather-worn, you can't see the names on them, can you? No. It's a shame, really. That's why I like recording with mobile phones, because they pick up whispers a lot better yeah. than cameras. Yeah. Nine out of ten, they're saying the names. Are they? Yeah. Yeah. 
but I rarely put it on the screen now because to me it's telling people well it's not just that I mean I spend all them hours editing the and I've not got enough viewers no I think you need more viewers I'm trying to promote you yeah promote you to my cousin and he <laughs> I hope you're watching it Donna <laughs> <laughs> You get a message later. <laughs> yeah. Yes, I'm watching it. <laughs> look at that one, look, buried right under the oh, tree there. It's quite sad, really, isn't it? I mean, fair enough, you know, trees have got their right to live, you know. Oh, yeah, of course, they're going to grow, aren't they? Yeah. But, I mean, to the extreme of this, this is, I mean, trimming it surely won't hurt. I think they cut a bell off of that one. Yeah. I think that's when trees start going wrong, when they chop two bigger two chunks bigger, off. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, wow, look at this. It's moved, on it, a lot. I reckon you're going to pick up a fair bit over here, don't yeah. you? Yeah. I think these ones have a lot to say. Yeah. I just got that feeling. Yeah. It's got a I would say eerie. No. But it's got a a feel about the place, hasn't it? Quite a modern door there. Yeah, I think that to replace that a little while back. It used to be a big like wooden one. It's a big gargoyle up there, can you see it? Yeah. I'm sorry guys, we missed a chime at 8 o'clock, we started recording just after. <laughs> there should be another one at 8.30. Um, yeah, look at the big gargoyle up there. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm. Weren't they supposed to be protectors? Yeah. Yeah. That's why they were so ugly. Yeah. There's another one of them. There, it seems to oh, have yeah. moved over. Yeah, it is, yeah. There's a tombstone there from somewhere. I don't know whether that belongs it's there. This one looks freshly dug over here. Hmm. Maybe they put in. So I said in, I said to Pete once in in one of our really early videos, how do you know that these people that go missing are not being buried in graves that are already there, okay. so they're never found? You know. I've often thought that, you know, like you've got a, a new grave dug ready for somebody to go in it. Or yeah. Something. Yeah. It'd be the perfect cover up, wouldn't it? Of course it would. The perfect way to get away with it, you know. Because they're never going to be found, are they, no. underneath somebody else? Imagine this though, graves right outside your window. It wouldn't worry me. I mean, Peter's got it right behind his house. Has he? Yeah, Hove Cemetery. Oh, right. There is an undertaker's just to hold you, perhaps you want to use, but just to, I think it's just around the corner there somewhere. I find it amazing though how they used to build stuff yeah. on, on the side of buildings. See, that's and built recently if you look at that, that's yeah. all new isn't it? We're going in Pete? You are. You're not coming in? No. You're wearing your protective boots today? I'm staying a bit quiet as the day, guys, just um, observing. I 
I want to see if I get any responses without me saying too much. See if they know me. Or see if I just get abuse. It's normally once I introduce myself, that's when I start getting the uh, help me's. As if they know who I am. So this particular video, I'm just going to walk around and see if I pick up anything. Don't get me wrong. At the end of the video, I'll still say a prayer. They might recognise me then. <laughs> but this place feels quite peaceful. I'll know once I get home and put my headphones on as to whether it is. As I found in the past, these uh, souls must have had pretty rough lives because some of them are pretty bitter and angry at the way they died or the way they lived. Life must have been pretty brutal back then. I mean, even today I would say it hasn't improved much, apart from we are more civilised. Hate to say it, but that tree has got a pretty thick trunk, don't you think? But that's got some history. Look at all these guys, pretty close together. I apologise if I walk over anybody. I don't mean any disrespect. Another one of them thin ones, look. If anyone knows guys in the comments why they did that, is the body actually in there or is it in the ground? So they'd have to literally mummify them to get them in like that. This one's all raised. Yeah, you wouldn't believe my ble my dream, guys. I woke up. I, I had to laugh because um, all of a sudden I was sitting in the bus driver's seat, and then I looked to the left at the front doors. And they just popped out and fell on the floor for no reason. And even in my dream, I sort of looked and I thought, what happened? Why did that happen? And then I woke up. <laughs> <laughs> but it was really weird. They just popped out as if there was nothing holding them. I fell on the floor and I just woke up. I think... Um, these graves are going all different directions. Some are going that way, some are going this way. So I don't know whether I'm walking over. Look at this. That's a nice design. I think that's a sun, isn't it? Like a sun design. Wow, 1820. Look at the size of that tree guys back there. It looks quite thick and I'm all the way back here. <laughs> Look at this one. If there are any souls here you're welcome to talk to me. I'm not a bad guy. I come in peace. 
you have anything to say please say it into my camera or talk directly to me even if you're able Oh, look at that one. Buried in the background. Oh, there's a hole here. I wonder if that's a grave down there. In there somewhere. Let's have a look from this side. Looks like something buried back there. Looks like another one here actually. Is there a grave in there somewhere? This is what happens guys when you put plants on graves. shoes are getting pretty wet now because it's been raining all day again luckily enough it's cleared up now that's big look at that one two together there aren't they Hi souls, I come in peace, I mean you no harm. There's a child's one here, unless it's just broken. If you'd like to talk to me, express your last words or any words you want to get out. If you need help, please let me know. I mean you no harm. If you know who I am, then speak my name and also tell me yours. Oh, look at this one. This is like the perfect grave in a garden. I don't feel threatened here at all guys, it feels pretty calm, relaxed. But it's night time, that's when you've got to uh, buckle up your braces, you know. That's when, when things can take a turn for the worst. I still think, personally, at night you get guardians that come out and they look after the cemeteries. But to me, I don't think they, they're doing it for a good purpose. I think they're doing it for keeping the souls there so they don't wander or leave. I don't know if you understand that. Elizabeth. Is that William? Yeah, William. Um, what way does that grave go? I believe it goes, yeah, that way. So I can walk behind this one. Some of these are so old guys, look. This is what I love about uh, Kent, Tunbridge Wells. It's so historic. when you think about the history of Tunbridge Wells and Kent and all the wars, all the barbaric things that happened, all these poor people that went through it, 
It wasn't like a life of luxury back then, you had to provide your own living. It's not like today where you can go out and do a job, earn money and go to the supermarket and buy stuff. You had to do it all yourself, up early in the morning, farming, animals, you know. You have to hunt and prepare your own food. You're not going to believe it guys, but I need a wee. <laughs> you know what it is, it's Teresa, she makes such big cups of tea, they're like buckets. And I'm used to like little cups. And something just said my name I think. I, don't, I hope the camera caught that. Sorry, not something, someone. I'm glad you're able to speak to me. Like I said, I don't mean any harm. I'm just here to document you. To keep your, your souls alive. Remembered. Because I think every being has the right to be remembered. No matter the sort of life you lived. A lot of people lived in pain, didn't they, back then? Hard living. If I could apologise for the way man was back then, I would. But I will say, I call upon our Lord God today, and I ask that he help any souls that may be lost or trapped within this area, or the surrounding land. I ask you Lord to lay your hand upon this land and bless it. Help these souls to find peace Lord. Amen. You see in there? 18, 13, that one. Yeah, I've seen some really old ones, yeah. Teresa, over the back. Yeah, we, we saw some, a very old one around there. Uh, I've said me, very, I've very said, the yeah, I've said me prayer. Oh, good. Around the corner there, I could have swore I heard. It was eerie around there. Yeah. yeah, we've just walked around there. Wouldn't want to be on my own. Put it that way. Well, when when you watch this video back, you'll hear what I was talking about. I was talking about how barbaric things used to be back yeah. then, and oh yeah, you know it was a hard life. You had to hunt and kill your food and then prepare yeah. it. And yeah, not like we do now. No, going to supermarkets. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Oh, look at this one over here, guys. Oh, hi, Jemima. That's an unusual name. Look at this one with a black top. Wow. Oh, sorry. I didn't realise you was there. <laughs> the little one just there. I've noticed you now, I apologise. That is amazing, look at that. Another one here. I wonder why the tops are black. Okay guys, we're coming up to 30 minutes, so I shall flip the camera around in a minute and move on to our second location. 
Yeah. I think you've got three, ain't you? Three locations. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna do the three. If we can get in the second one that is. Yeah, and Pete, how many have you got we've got to go Five. to? Five? <laughs> So we'll be out till 4 a.m. then. <laughs> well, that's the choice of one if we knew it. Oh, okay. Look at that old house over there. This is um, St. Peter's and uh, St. Peter's and St. Paul's in Tunbridge. What this is? Yeah. Oh, okay. St. Yeah. Peter's and St. Paul's. Oh. Yeah. Okay. So oh, cool. that's a bit apt, isn't it? You two. Yeah. Saints, so. <laughs> <laughs> right, let's uh, flip the camera around and end this one for now and then go on to part two. Okay guys, that was a good one. I like this one. Really old, weren't it? It's got very, some yeah, good... very spooky in a lot of places. Yeah. I was just saying about that. Yeah. At night time this place would probably be a different character. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, so yeah. Thank you for watching guys. Please click the like, subscribe if you haven't. Join our family, and um, one day we could be taking you out with us. Yep. And um, Teresa said goodbye for now. Goodbye. See you later on. Pete. See you soon. And see you soon, guys.